morning. Good morning. I feel like my hair looks quite long today. That's kind of weird. But I'm actually waiting today for Gary, my carpenter man, to come and fit the bay window storage. I did not think this was gonna be fitted until, gosh, probably another two weeks. So when he messaged me on Monday like, can I come and fit it this week? I was like, yes, you legend, you can. I actually bought some floor cushions from Urban Outfitters for the top of it because I thought they might look okay, but I'll show you them later once it's done. He's due to arrive at 10. Not sure what time it is. That's just made me realize I haven't got my Apple Watch on. You're being so needy. Okay, so walking into my room now, look Look how good it looks. I love this big empty bit at the back, but the thing with my storage unit is when Gary first came, the first thing I asked him is if he could make it removable because I've actually got damp on these walls. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you probably can. And that's because my windows are such a mess. So once I get my new windows in, I'm gonna obviously have the damp sorted out, but that meant that I couldn't actually have a built-in storage thing. It's gonna be removable, which I think is better anyway, in case I ever don't want it there. Oh, Nelly, oh my god, he's been so needy. Just kind sir, want a tickle? Hey, poke. <laughs> If you're new to my videos, you probably won't know this, but I only have one storage cupboard. Let me see if I can show you. There it is, <laughs> that white door. That is my only storage cupboard and it doesn't fit much in it. Once I've got everything in my flat done, like I've got my kitchen done and everything, I'm gonna actually sort that cupboard out and change the layout of it and stuff. But for now, yeah, that's all I've got. So it's gonna be nice to have that this whole space filled with storage. I'm gonna be able to put Nelly's litter bags in there, which I don't have a place for at the minute. <sighs> It's just gonna be fantastic. Ooh, it's something that I got asked on my home Instagram. I've had a couple of messages saying, won't that make it difficult to like do the wooden floor? But obviously, cause I'm getting it removable. When I have my floor done, they will just move it and fit the floor underneath it. So that's gonna be fine. Have you got cardboard Reggie? He bloody loves cardboard Reggie. It's got fresh catnip in it. While Gary is here, my plan is to get work done. But I really want to watch The Stranger on Netflix. I started it yesterday. I think I got to the start of episode four and then it hit 1am and I was like, I've got to get up at eight. I cannot be watching this, <laughs> but it's so good. I need to finish it. My brother sent me the cutest pictures of little Bean. Look how beautiful he is. Oh. Pinado. I always find it so strange because people still ask me where Bean is and he's not lived with me for two years now, maybe even over two years. So Nelly and Bean did not get on in the slightest. That is putting it nicely. Like Nelly hates everything about that poor little cat. He can't stand him. So Bean was completely glued to me, like wanted to be around me all the time. He wanted to cuddle me all the time and Nelly hated it. So whenever I'd get up and go to the kitchen or whatever, Nelly would just leg it and pounce on him and start biting him and stuff. And I know you probably think like, you can't imagine Nelly doing that. And I couldn't either, which is why I got him a brother in the first place. I can't even tell you how much <laughs> he hates Bean. So my mom decided to look after Bean. So he now lives with her, which is so lovely because whenever I go home, I get to see him and he's like, I just love him so much. I can't even tell you. If I talk about him for too long, I will actually cry because I miss him like mad. He was my little thing that was always there, just wanting love and stuff. But Jeremy is now obsessed with my dad. So that's good. My dad gives him cuddles and everything, just like I would. And obviously George and my mum do as well, but he's like weirdly obsessed with my dad. And then obviously my brother's cat, Leo, who I call Pikler. I know this can get kind of confusing. So Jeremy is called Jeremy and Bean. Pikler is called Leo, that's his real name. And then Nelly's real name is Penelope, but let's not go there. So yeah, obviously Pikelet lives there. So it was kind of a question of like, is Pikelet gonna do the same? Wanting to be the alpha male and just completely being a dick to Bean but he doesn't. They get on so well. They're like two little best friends. We call them Batman and Robin because Jeremy just follows Pikelet around everywhere and it's just so cute. But yeah, that is where Bean is. <laughs> and I, I FaceTime my mum every single day so that she can show me him because I miss him like mad. Nelly's such a diva. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat my banana. Gary is due in 14 minutes. I'm gonna ask him about my floor while he's here because I wanna get that done ASAP. Oh, <laughs> where's Beanie Pants? Where are you? He's coming, he's coming. Where are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Jeremy. <laughs> oh, his little face. Guys have just left. They are the nicest men ever. I'm gonna actually recommend them in the down bar if you're in the Brighton or Hove area and you want some carpentry doing or anything, give them a call, they're so nice. The thing I hate about builders and stuff usually is that they play such loud shit music <laughs> and these don't, they just have a chat. <laughs> but yeah, it's done and it looks unreal. I should have done this like the day I moved in. So this is what it looks like. How good does this look? Obviously it is removable so it's not like perfectly fitted to the wall or anything. I actually can't get over it. I love it so much. And then there's this that opens up and I've got so much storage in there. The only thing that could have made it better would have been brass thingies, but I'm not fussed. So I found these on Urban Outfitters. These are actually floor cushions. They're quite heavy. These were, I think, £39 each. So I bought two of them, but I do actually need three. If you can see this, I will be able to fit another one there. But that's what they look like on it. And I actually really like it. Obviously, in an ideal world, I will get a cushion like custom made for it. But the thing with that is it is going to cost hundreds of pounds to do because I'm really particular about how I would want it done. And I would also want it in like a proper velvet fabric. And then you're paying for people's time and everything. And it would literally have cost hundreds of pounds to do. So I just thought I would get these. I know Nelson will love sleeping on them. And then if I ever do get a cushion made, I can put these around the house as like little cat beds for him. But yeah, I'm going to order another. Hopefully they've still got the grey colour. I'm a bit panicky now. I'm just beyond chuffed with this. I can't wait to fill it with crap. I told them once they left I was just going to fill it with crap and have the best time. It's hard to show you because it's so bright right now but this is what it looks like as you walk into the room. It looks so sick. I'm going to order another cushion before they sell out. Just sat eating my lunch. I've got some chicken pasta, bloody delicious. But I was looking down at my hands. You know when you paint your nails and then you just can't stop looking at them? It reminded me that I wanted to show you my favorite nail polishes at the minute. So I've got like five, maybe six that I just keep rotating. And they're the perfect kind of springtime colors. I'd describe them as like dark pastels, not a proper bright in your face color, but also not a pastel, like a bit darker than a pastel. So a dark pastel. <laughs> So as you guys probably know, these are my nail polish shelves. I'm just gonna grab the colors and then I'll show you in the other room because this room's cold. So as you can probably see, these are all Essie colors. This video is not sponsored, although Essie, if you wanna sponsor me, that would be incredible because I spend so much money on Essie nail polishes. But you get what I mean by the dark pastel thing. They're just not in your face. They're really muted colors and they're absolutely gorgeous. So we'll start at this end. This one is called Island Hopping and it's kind of a muted plummy shade. It's really beautiful. I also think this shade would look gorgeous on dark skin tones. Then we've got this color, which is Go Go Geisha. It's like millennial pink, but a little bit more dusky. Really, really pretty color. Although I don't think this color looks nice on pale skin. I can only wear it when I've got fake tan or it makes me look a bit dead. The next one is my favorite. This is Maximilian Strauss Her. And I have no idea what that means. If anyone knows, can you let me know? But it is like a sage green, a muted sage green. Absolutely beautiful. Then we've got this one, which is called Cocktail Bling. Again, it's like a muted gray blue shade, just a few shades darker than what I'm wearing right now, which is this one. It's called Press Pause, a really, really, really gorgeous, super light gray blue. Then the final one is more of a nude shade. This is called Between the Seats. It's got a little bit of beige in there. It's really flattering. And if you've got shorter nails and you're wanting to grow them, this is a really good color to put on because you've got something on, but it doesn't draw attention to your nails, if you know what I mean. So there we go. Those are my favorite nail polishes of the moment. I've got my legs up while I'm on my laptop. And Nelly's just gone and sat under there. He's literally sat right there. <laughs> How cute. We're gonna leave the lump asleep. Oh, there's a bottom. <laughs> oh. Puppy, you enjoy your cave. Oh. Oh gosh, if you watched my hallway makeover video, you will have seen me talk about these. I got them on Etsy, I'll leave them as a link. They're actually gorgeous, I love them. But I put a pop, but I put a poll on my, but I put a poll, I cannot get this sentence out. I put a poll 
on my home Instagram and people said I should just leave the black ones on. Rude, because <laughs> I've bought them now. But people did say these will look worn out. Uh, you know, in a few months from opening them, they'll probably look a bit worn out, but that's okay, because I'm gonna keep the black ones so I can put them back on. The one annoying thing is I have to drill the hole a little bit bigger to get the new, to get the new, I cannot speak today. Yippee. There we go. I love these little leather pulls. I like how they go with the carpet. I feel like it kind of ties it in. Let me know what you think and which ones you liked better. I'm definitely going to remove this pink plant. I've moved the pink plant because that looked ridiculous. If you like the black ones better, that's fine with me. I like them as well. I just thought because I bought these, I'd probably better use them. It's been hours. As you can see, the sun is setting. It's casting this gorgeous light on my room. But little Nugget is still sleeping. You're the laziest boy in town. You're probably going to keep me awake all night. Here's a string. Here's a string. I have started putting things in my compartment. So I've just got Nelly's cat bed, I've got my BT box, I've got a fan. This is Nelly's little trolley. It's on wheels and it's like a suitcase. So this pops up and you can wheel him round. I got it from Amazon. It fits in perfectly. It's the most satisfying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and then I've just got a light fixture that I'm not currently using. I've got so much space in here. If I pushed everything up, oh, I've just got so much room. It's absolutely glorious. It's just cleared it out a little bit and since last year, like literally since summer, this huge fan that I've got has fitted nowhere in my flat. It's just been sat right there and now I have space in my cupboard to put it which is so amazing and it's also made some room there. Yeah, I'm dead chuffed. And then the whole reason I wanted this was for Lord Nelson's cat litter. I usually bulk buy it so I usually have about four of these. Perfecto. Also, I've just been sat editing this because today... I just thought I'd take it as like a chill little work day. And I've noticed that my hair is fading already. So normally when I use the John Frieda hair dye, it lasts for months. I'm talking like I dye my hair once every six months, if even that, because it just lasts in it. And then it fades really nicely as well. But this time it seems to have faded a lot already. And I only did it last week. So I'm a little bit confused. This is one of my favorite things. So it's 4.15 and when the sun is just going down, I get this gorgeous light at my desk. Good morning guys. I got woken up to the fire alarm this morning, which is the most horrific way to wake up. This is the second time it's happened in two weeks now. The last time it was at 4 a.m. And it didn't get resolved until 5.30 a.m. when an engineer had to come out. But the engineer actually taught me how to like temporarily silence it. So I managed to do that today luckily. But yeah, that was a nice wake up call. <laughs> so today my third cushion arrives and I actually wanted to show you like the finished thing. So I thought I would vlog today as well. I am off to town this morning. Go to a contact lens fitting. When you wear contact lenses, at least with Vision Express, they make you go back every so often just to check that like you're wearing the right ones and they're fitting your eyes and they're not damaging them and stuff. So they won't give me my new set of contact lenses until I've had this. So I've got an appointment at like 10... 15. It's 20 to 9 at the minute. And then I really want to go to Morrison's because Morrison's have my favourite soup ever, which is the ham hock. I'll put a picture of it on screen. It's by Cross and Blackwell. It's genuinely my favourite soup and it's the only place in Brighton where I know I can get it. So I'm going to head to Morrison's. It's like nowhere near where I live, but it's kind of vaguely near Brighton Town Centre. So that's okay. And then hopefully when I get home, the third cushion will be here and I'll be able to show you it finished. I'm hoping it looks good. If anyone's interested, my jumper was from H&M. It's like a bat-winged, cute, spotty jumper, but I'm gonna get ready and head to town now. I've just been working since the fire alarm went off. It went off at seven, and I wasn't actually gonna get up until like half past eight, but seems as though I was up early. I just thought I'd crack on with work, so I've done a couple of hours of that. Time to go. Through the wind I give in Storming, breaking like the tide Every time A bit dizzy I close my eyes I am back 
sorry for not vlogging much. I'm in so much pain today with my stomach, but I don't want to whinge about it, so I think I've just got a really upset stomach. It's not a fun time. But I was early for my contact lens appointment, so I went in Tiger, and I actually found these. So this is a teal corduroy cushion, and initially I wanted cushions with like this beading round, because I think it looks really nice. These were £10 each, and the ones over there were 39 and granted they are very different quality. <laughs> these are not as good quality at all, but I thought I would bring three home and see what I thought, because if I like them, I could save myself quite a bit of money. Okay, so after bringing them home, I think I've decided I like the other ones better. So I thought these would be a better to match to my carpet but my carpet's actually a lot more green so these kind of do look a bit strange i wish they did them in gray or like mustard but yeah i think i'm gonna keep these ones i tried to save some money but i don't think it looks right i'm gonna wait until the third gray one comes just to see but yeah let me know what you think i went all the way to morrison's which is not close to me it's actually in kemp town which is like a town over from brighton i think but it's still kind of part of brighton i say that like i know what i'm talking about I do not. So you know I went for my beloved soup. Well, they don't stock it there anymore. And I was gonna order it online, but then I thought, no Gabby, go in person. Stop buying everything online. People get angry at you. So I haven't got any soup, which sucks because I've been craving one. But because I went to the actual Morrison's store, they have the salad bar. So I picked up like pasta, a bit of cheese and some things to have for tea tonight. So that's gonna be really nice. And here we have it, my lovely new bedroom with all three little cushions on the back. I'm so happy I decided to keep these ones. They look so much more expensive. And like I said, I can use them as Nelly's cat beds. If in like a year I get an actual cushion made, which I probably will, prioritizing things, you know, I put a couple of little plants on the end. I think they look cute. I love this unit so much. Nelly loves it. He's already been sleeping on it, which is the cutest thing ever. Lord Nelson, stop licking your winky. It's mine to lick. So yay, there we go. That is like the last little finishing touch to my bedroom. I've got to cut all the tags off and everything. I'm so chuffed with them. I'm going to leave this vlog here now. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my new little storage bench. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I got hit. Goodbye, everybody. From Nelson, aged five.